You may find yourself asking, is it, is it recording? Hello, everyone. And I will say to you, letting the Jupiter boys with the water hold it back. Let the Jupiter boys start the podcast. Let's do it. Wow. That one was probably the best intro sequence we've had, despite the fact that I interrupted it twice with my just like not knowing what was happening. <laughs> it was a it was a startling one. Once you do talking and heads, you, you've got to kind of you got to do the talking. The and then you've got to do the head. Then you do the, the head, which is the musical part. And Everybody then, knows that's the head of the song. And then you get sued. So yep. we're the Jupiter boys. We're two boys. We're from the planet Jupiter. And each week we get together and we talk about things. This is interesting because I do not have a topic. Okay. And I just want to see if I can like go in without one at all and generate something. You s- told me yesterday that you had a topic. You no, texted I didn't. me that you had a topic. Because no, you I said you had a, GB, a TGAB topic. And no, I didn't. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Uh, which side of the coin of truth do you want? This is the, the coin that determines. Logo, I'll who take the, the logo one. Who goes first? In the topicathon. Topicathon. Say it. In the topicathon. Why am I saying it? I invented it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like. Own your shit. It's the logo side, so it's, it's me. It's you. Yeah, I okay. did say I did say logo. Okay. Um, haircuts. Okay. Haircuts. I find them weird. Why? I find it weird to have another person usually like the, here's the thing yeah so as men on earth at least in the place where we live there's sort of like an expectation that you get your hair cut by men it's kind of weird it is it? weird right like no i get i got my hair cut by a woman man every see, day I, I did like for like the majority of my life yeah okay if you tell them exactly what you want they're gonna give you exactly what but they no want. that's bullshit because like that's the whole reason I cut my hair for like ten years is because like I went to hairdressers for like most of my life until oh. I was like probably nineteen, twenty years old. Yeah. And then I was like, fuck this. Every fucking time I go, they give me something like totally like I say, like, this is exactly what I want. I want it a little, you know, longer here, shorter here. I want it like I've even brought in pictures and they're like, I want it to look like this. Yeah. And they just do whatever the fuck they want to do anyway. Yeah. It's like it's like they have an idea of what your haircut's supposed to look like, and they just do it. See, I've had much simpler kind of hairstyles, so I've just gone yeah. with the basic but, hairstyles. But see, like I'm, I, I've got, I got a little pizzazz in my hair. You right? do. You have, you have more bounce. You have more curls. It, I've got volume. So it's like I've got, got I've, a lot. I've of got, volume. I've got to like, you know, work it. Your hair so. is naturally like it looks like. You remember the, um, you ever heard of the uh, the skateboard company World Industries? Yes. They had a little flame guy logo. Yes, yes. Your hair looks like that. I mean, you're, you you got that kind of like... And it like literally is a flame. It's a gaseous cloud. He is a glass. Yeah. He's burning. Uh, you know, constantly burning. We don't really refer to our bodies as things. A lot. So, uh, yeah. So, like, I find it... I find haircuts, like, even, like... It doesn't even matter if it's a woman. Because, like, either or, I find it strangely intimate. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like oh, yeah. a weirdly like close space. Yeah, and you got to you got to sk- small talk your way out of that. Yeah, and well that's so... that's that's the part that is like the absolute worst for me. Yeah. Like honest to Christ, like I I would just happily sit there in complete silence and let her cut my hair and just be done with it. Or like she wants to play music or whatever the fuck, you just know what to, like I'd... make it, you know, less awkward. You know what? So are you trying to are we trying to improve the haircut game or are well, we trying to Im- improve We're just we haven't even been fucking like recording the time, which no. like is completely on me. Um, it's on you. We've been about we've done about two minutes of this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna set an, set the timer for eight minutes. Okay. Um, but uh, let's improve it. I'm talking about. So hear hear me out here. Okay. I'm talking about there's this unwritten rule, kind of like this unspoken law. Yeah. Where if you go into the haircutters, you're the haircutter. Nobody calls it that, but. You go into the ha- those it's haircuts. Like the woodcutters. It's like I'm a haircutter. My father was a haircutter before <laughs> my him. Father, my father cut hair in the Korean War, in World War Two, and in the Civil War. He's an old old man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when we go to the hairdressers, right? There's an unspoken real. If you have like AirPods or Bluetooth he- headphones in, yeah, it just means you don't want to talk. You can like communicate all your stuff through your phone. Like That's you can fair. just like tell tell them like here here's a show like show a picture like do like a little Prezi. Here's like a, here's you, a thing. You sign up for Prezi. Prezi's like a PowerPoint thing. 
They yeah. do, it's like all online. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. You get a lot of choices and options. You just make a Prezi presentation saying, here's the kind of haircut I want. And then you pick, put some pictures of Justin Bieber in there. I don't know. Well, okay. So here's, here's my idea, right? Because like when you get a little bit older and like I haven't experienced this myself yet because I cut this myself, okay. but hair cutters will start trimming your ear hair because, yeah. because you get like kind of old and shitty. There so should be got, an option for nose hair too. Well, and that's, and your... they usually trim that too for you. Um, but Cause I got some, I got some hairs growing and I'm like, oh no, they're gr- poking out of my nose. Get, get a little nose hair ear trimmer like on Amazon. It's like 20 bucks. And there's like electric ones that are oh, just yeah. like, super oh, they're great. Like, they're just like little nozzles. You stick them up your nose, you shake them around a bit. It trims all your nose hairs. It's like, nice. mm-hmm. I gotta get it's, that. it's the best. It's like, seriously, that. like I would probably help can, with my dryness. You can also put like a, too. you can also put a little guard on it and do your eyebrows so that they don't stay like, they don't get super bushy if you want. See, I like my eyebrows. See, I like them too. Like I've got big old bushy ones. And yeah, I, you and do I'm, got big old bushy oh, eyebrows. Man, my eyebrows are like. Like I honestly like I love my eyebrow game. It's like the thickest. We it's like, we are giving it's an animal. We are giving away so much about our fucking identities. Whatever. So much about what we look like. But it's okay because we're from Jupiter, so and nobody listens to this podcast. <laughs> a cup, a, a handful, Jim. a handful, a handful, a select few. You are the elite, the proud, the few. So I'm gonna derail so, you. Okay, no, no. So I was gonna say. Because yeah. they're tr- getting their ears trimmed, they can't put headphones in, right? Mm. Sometimes, 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 and sometimes you don't like you can't afford AirPods, you can't afford Bluetooth yeah. headphones, whatever. So here's m- here's my suggestion. Remember when like smoking in- inside was okay, and they would ask you at the beginning. Well, you probably don't because you're pretty young. But yeah, I kind of remember. You, a little they would young, ask you yeah. smoking or non-smoking for the mm. sections of the restaurant. Yeah, you could have a, a spoken or non-spoken. That's section cool. of the hairdressers that's dope and it's like a, a separate soundproof area and they've got maybe get like a little bit like nice music playing like just some soft music yeah and it's just sort of like even like if it was like low lighting except for where you are so you don't really have to look at anybody else you know what i mean like it's yeah. like a little spotlight of like <laughs> above your above your hair the only thing you can see is like a is like a mirror like a magic mirror on the wall kind of like just floating head yeah, like, like it's like, and it's like even a float. It's like they have it in front of a black curtain, so it's just like a floating mirror. It's just your floating head. Like d- you don't have a body. Well, because they, like, the, they, awesome. the, they put the they put the apron on. Yeah, you, they right? put the so. apron, and it's all green screen. So you're you're in a it's good. It's not green screen. It's just it's just dark. Yeah, I'm, we, I'm like referring to a much simpler technology. That's true. Dark darkness would just work just as well as as. A <laughs> green screen <laughs> cgi <laughs> cgi i love that that's you're like you're young enough that that's like your default response to things let's go cgi let's with it throw a bunch of cgi at it james cameron james cameron james cameron <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, steven spielberg <laughs> spielberg it up well he actually spielberg is known for more practical effects to be fair um yeah if you were like george miller it up that's all practical effects baby true well it's like 95 percent practical effects so i wanted to derail your topic for a second okay and just acknowledge that we started a blood feud yeah we started a big old fight on, okay well we shouldn't on... pro- like we probably shouldn't comment on it too much no because we are innocent bystanders even though it was our, all our fault and we accept fully fully the responsibility for it yeah yeah we we totally we caused a blood feud between uh a single podcast and a group of podcasts. Yes, the Durf and Deets and frankly, podcast. and frankly, it was completely our, our, our fault. Yes, uh, but take... Durf and Deets, Deets did not do anything wrong. No, it was a hundred percent on the Jupiter Boys. If anybody is at fault, it's just the Jupiter Boys. It's true. Um, and uh, yeah, so we 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 go ahead and we absorb that beef. We we take that beef and we we absorb it into our gelatinous uh, skin mu- membranes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, are we going to ask them to formally join our network? I, because they see, are not, I kinda, no longer part of that I, I kind of want to reach out to them. Like, here's the thing, though. Like, we don't have okay, a lot so, of shows on our network. Well, so here's the thing. So, Wadolfa Shark Media consists of two shows. It consists of the Jupiter Boys yep. and Dave Franco's Dream Boys. Hold on, Jim. Aren't the people who do <laughs> the Jupiter Boys the same people who do Dave Franco's Dream Boys? Why? With no, no difference to the show in the slightest? Why, Quinn, you are correct. We do only have two people in this entire podcast network. Is it embarrassing? Yeah. Super, Frankly, oh, yes. Super, super embarrassing. Yes, super embarrassing. I thought more people would join up right away. Soup's embarrassing. Uh, that's, on, that's on us. But here's the thing, Derf and Deets. Yeah. We're allowing you to join this very exclusive club. <laughs> super exclusive. And the thing is, the smallness of the club ensures less douchebaggery. It's very overall, true. Right? It's very true. Baby, com- 
baby cults aren't cults yet. Yeah, right? they're like just like groups of buds yeah, hanging just, around drinking Kool Aid. Yeah, exactly. You know, this time it doesn't have arsenic. Exactly. When, when well, they start, they don't start with art with cyanide. Oh, they. They, they start with Kool-Aid. And they're drinking straight Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, like the good shit. All the time. Not no name. All not, the not dollar, sta- dollar all store All the brand. time. They're drinking Kool-Aid all the time just to keep everybody on their toes. So anyway, Durf Is this one going to be poisoned? Durf and Deets, uh, We have nothing against your logo. We think no, your show is fucking funny. It's fucking hilarious. Man. Yeah, you boys are, are good good by us. They're a raucous and, bunch. Uh, you're a raucous fellow. If you're interested in joining Wood Alpha Shark, we would love to have you. Reach out to me. I also... Also greatly enjoy hockey and yeah. would gladly talk about. Yeah. Quinn will come on, on your show and chat hockey all day, yeah. every day. I'm, I, I know hockey, but I'm not, I don't know ho- today's hockey. Yeah. I played hockey, but I'm not, you He's know, out of the hockey I like game. how, I like how we start talking like this and we start talking Canadian. We start talking Canadian. It's, it's hard to stop once you start, you know? Yeah. It's, you, you kind of get the, you get the, you, you get, get the, the rhythm, you get the rhyme, you get the, to it and then you just keep going. You go deep in the corners and you fight for that puck. Even if you get a stick up in the mouth, it's fine. Lad. It's fine. I mean, you just put some, put a little bit of snow on it there. And then you just call up the dentist, say, hey, I fucked up my tooth. Can you fix it again? And he says, yeah, buddy, come on by. He says, this is the sixth time I've seen you this week. You got to settle down with going in the corners well, or wear on, a full cage, bud. Come on by. Bring a fucking case of cores. I'll do her up for you. You got to get a cage, bud. It's not, it's not good for your fucking dental health. But, you know, the dentist usually, he's a pretty good guy there. Yeah, he's a great guy. So I love that we like it was his best man at his wedding. We just had a fucking episode of like this hour has twenty two minutes yep. in uh or or the Royal Canadian Air Force. And, like, or or Doug and Doug and Tom, what is it? Not Doug and Tom. Uh Letter. Bill and Bill and uh Doug McKenzie. Yeah, yeah. Or not or like sort of Letter Kenny, but like yeah, yeah, Letter yeah, Kenny's Letter kind Kenny. of special kind of Yeah, Letter special. Kenny's a very specific area. Anyway, Durf and Deeds, come fucking get at us. Yeah. Come join our network. So haircuts Another improvement on haircuts is why are we using fucking primitive ass scissors? Oh, yeah. Why aren't we using like AI technology well, that scans our head? Here's the thing. Somebody tried to do this. Yeah. It was called the Floby. Was it bad? Have you never heard of the Floby? No. Oh, Quinn. I got to watch this documentary about the Floby. No, is there the a Flo-B, documentary the about Flo-B the Floby? The was like an infomercial product. And was it the one that you like, you put plugged your head into it and like no 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 it wasn't it wasn't like a like a bowl style thing okay what it was was like a trimmer like a like a hair trimmer like a hair cutter yeah um that you attached to the end of your vacuum what so, so it sucked out so, your hairs well so like as you put it to it it would pull your hair and then you it would like automatically trim your hair as it was pulled jesus um, that sounds awful no because it's like it actually is the most efficient way of doing it right because it uses suction to like pull your hair out instead of like oh, actually so, eh? pulling it out so it's not actually painful and then it cuts it and then so like they marketed it as like it could cut any hair you just like extend you know like pull it to the length that but you how want how would you map it out so that it wouldn't cut like well there this? were like they were guides of like how to do it and everything because like, like that. you could really fuck up you just like grab it just like <laughs> and that's and that's the end, that's the end of the topic no that was my whole hair that was my whole hair <laughs> it was the one hair that i had just wrapped around my head millions of times i wanted to trim it again what do you got for me quinn i actually came prepared for once and i wanted to talk to you about the importance of movie soundtracks easy not important no, i'm just joking to move to films yeah right because the I mean, I, I, there was a time where there wasn't movie soundtracks. It was just fucking classical music and, and you know. That's still a subtitles. soundtrack, man. But it's not a soundtrack. A soundtrack is a group, like a, like a, like a recording of separate songs made for, like, oh, okay. in like so a choice. You're yes. not talking about a score. No, I am talking about soundtracks. Literally, Specifically, like, like movie using soundtracks. Using commercial mu- music in yeah. a movie. Yeah, and the first ones to do it, no surprise. So right this, here. Hold on, hold on. Is this Quinn's History Corner? Quinn's History Corner is in session. <laughs> the court is requiring everybody to turn off their cell phones and just get jiggy with it. Now, the first motherfuckers to have a soundtrack were Disney. 
Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was the first soundtrack, and it was made in 1938. That's the first recorded soundtrack. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? Because it's a musical. Yeah. So there is like individual songs. Yeah, exactly. That's interesting. It's interesting that that's the first, because it's also the first feature length cartoon movie. Yeah. And then the first soundtrack album of the film's orchestral score was that for Alexander Korda's 1942 film, The Jungle Book, uh, composed by Miklos Rosa. And in 1908, Camille St. Sands composed the first music specifically for use in a major motion picture for the film L'Assassinat de Gouk de Guys. So that's the first time there was a score in a, a score. Film. Well, and then the release. No, 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 no. That's the first time that it was specifically assigned for a movie. Yeah. Because they used to play like music. Like, yeah, you know, they like used just to just play like music. vaudeville kind of style exactly. music along, along with, with it. it. Yeah. But that's the first time that something was written for a movie so i want to discuss you know i wanted to step into the Qu- quinn's history corner for quinn's this. history corner and i wanted to kind of step out a little bit and just kind of focus on what do you think the best band of all time in in terms of like being featured in movies you know like being featured on soundtracks like i'm thinking like stones are up there rolling stones oh, but the yeah. beatles can't be up there because Nobody can fucking afford the rights to a Beatles movie unless they're like I Am Sam or a be- movie specifically catered around the use of Beatles music because it's so expensive to use. Same, well, same with Zed, Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin? Like, they've uh, been, like, Stones? Very, well, yeah. not, not lately. Like, no. lately they've just, like, fucking went all out. Yeah. But the Stones have always been, like, very, like, so, easy to get. Yeah. Like, if they're in every fucking Scorsese movie at least ten times each piece. Yeah. Like, there a lot. There's a lot of Stone songs in The Departed. It's Casino in yeah. fucking Goodfellas. Like, there's Stones movies, there's Stones songs in every one of those goddamn movies. very fuckers. true. So I was thinking like Rolling Stones, but then I was thinking, you know, what about those like artists where you don't think that you, they're in like the band, band of horses or, yeah. you know, like. Well, Tom York. Tom York. Oh, yeah. Radiohead was one I was going to say. Yeah. Like, because like, he's done a lot think in that Johnny they Greenwood. Be, they do. Yeah. John Greenwood is, is did the music. Um, Fun fact, Neil Young did the whole soundtrack for uh, Dead Man, uh, the Jim Jarmusch, Johnny Depp movie, Dead Man. Really? Yeah, Neil Young did the whole thing. That's cool. It is a cool movie. What do you think your top 10, or yeah, like let's let's rate your top 10 soundtrack, soundtrack movie soundtracks. Okay, so this is going to sound controversial, mm. but the first Shrek soundtrack. That's so good, man. It's so choice. It's real good. It's so choice. It's, I'll give a damn about my reputation. Yeah. And like somebody wants. Yeah. So anyway, fuck, um, man, that TikTok is so goddamn good. Oh fuck. Yeah. Go check out this. Like, <laughs> God damn it. It's on my Twitter. There's a TikTok that was released and it's in the style of all star by smash mouth. And there's a news report and it fits perfectly it's disgusting how like you have to think that some <laughs> fucking like news writer was just like <laughs> <laughs> all star by smash mouth i just all started by smash mouth them <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> uh you know what another, another good soundtrack is but yeah. only if you're like an a like a strange internet 90s kid like me is um, the Darjeeling Limited? No, the Matrix soundtrack. Oh yeah, that's a solid. It's like it's super metally and technoly at the same time. Yes, you're playing um, Spy Break by the Propeller Heads, I believe. That's such a dope song, man. It's pretty dope. It gets you fucking riled up. You're like, fuck yeah! And like Rob Zombies in that, and like yeah. I think Dragula. I think Marilyn Manson. Um, probably in the probably in the that uh, crazy. Uh, club scene that it's in the first that's one. the rob zombie song but i don't know about uh that's dragula yeah, yeah. that anyway, was like early 90s it was eh? a, late 90s late 99 90s, was yeah. when the matrix came out so uh one of mine is gardens of the galaxy obviously right. i love the gardens of the galaxy it's a pretty good soundtrack it's so like it's so re-listenable and like it's great to throw on in the background because like all the songs kind See, of like and like that sort of like indicates like your film era because like i don't even like even though like the the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack was like a whole separate marketing thing because it was like his tape, you know what I mean? Like yeah, they yeah. had like the tape thing. Like it was like it was very stylized and very intentional that it was like this is awesome mix volume one, you know, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. Um so like See, like and I have also grown up around music movie soundtracks my whole life because totally. because our um step pod 
yeah. um, used to collect a lot of CDs in like a sleeve and he'd had just a fuckload of CDs. Oh, yeah. And like nearly half of them were just movie soundtracks. soundtracks. Yeah, he fucking loved soundtracks. He loved soundtracks. And it was Which, like, like, it's like fair. It's you know, pretty it's dope. It's funny because fucking Ben Wyatt in Parks and Rec is like, you know, it's like my favorite direction. My favorite directors have made a mixtape just for me. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. It's so good. It's Would a depressed a person do this? It's like, oh, he's terribly depressed. <laughs> uh, so... I, I re- oh, what other soundtracks? A lot of, to be to be totally frank, yeah. a lot of Disney movies yeah, have yeah. great great fucking soundtracks. soundtracks. Um, um, Hercules has a really good fucking soundtrack. Yeah, seriously, I love that soundtrack. See, like I gotta go with Lion King soundtrack. Oh, it's oh wicked. yeah, duh, yeah, it's wicked absolutely. fucking awesome. W- wicked fucking awesome. Wicked fucking awesome. Um, you know the Mi Two soundtrack isn't bad. Mission Impossible 2 soundtrack is pretty rad, man. Yeah. You used to bump that all the fucking all time. All the time. Because it's the, a, Remember the Titans soundtrack's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Knight's Tale soundtrack is one of my oh, favorites. Great so soundtrack. Choice. Queen, Seriously. Bowie. Oh, the, yeah. Then more Queen. It's like, yeah, like, it's like all classic rock, and it's just like, okay. Like, <laughs> I guess. Like Bowie's Golden Years, which is my favorite Bowie As song. Heath, and it's fucking uh, Paul... Paul Bettany, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I, I knew you would it's know. Vision. Yeah, exactly. Heath Ledger, Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany plays Alan fucking, Tudyk. Yeah, Paul Bettany plays fucking Jeffrey Chaucer. Yeah, like it's fucking awesome. It's a great movie. You should check it out. It's a great... And it's like, like 10 years old. It's so but, self-referential, too. I love it. Oh, it's great. Um, It's super underrated, and like a lot of people tore it apart. It's oh, it is a pretty awesome. shitty movie. But it's so good. It makes you feel good about yourself, man. I guess. Like, it's just like an... It's if just, I was a jouster, I would probably feel better about myself. There's nothing like... There's nothing really particularly troubling about it or anything. Oh, no. Like, there's nothing like... But like there's like a whole big dance sequence right in the middle. It's great. To golden years, motherfucker. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> It's like what makes the whole movie is that fucking dance scene. It's dope as shit. And he's like, you see Paul Paul Bettany's ass. And like his, like half of his nut. Like I swear to God, you see like at least half his nut. Like just like a a glimpse of it. Just a, just a half nut. But I've watched that movie enough to know that you see that nut. Trust me. It's there. It's on (laughs) film. Um, so another soundtrack I really basically any West Garden State movie. Garden State soundtrack. Oh, great fucking soundtrack. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're white boys. Dr- yeah. Drive soundtrack's pretty cool. Yeah, the drive soundtrack is it's great. Decent. There's some weird ass fucking songs on that. Soundtrack. Um I actually I actually really like the uh, Snatch soundtrack. Um it's pretty decent. Guy Ritchie movie. Pretty much. Yeah, Guy uh, Ritchie. But any guy. Wes Anderson movie too. Like, Wes Anderson. And they're like there's all some weird, weird eclectic yeah, there's some eclectic choices in there. And you're but like, there's also some, a lot of stones. Yeah. Just fucking stones and everything. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of like different he's he goes really wild with his fucking songs. Yeah. It's like the whoever shit. does the music for for his movies, it must be like you know that the same woman has done the mu- music for all of Scorsese's movies? No, it's uh, the editing for all of Scorsese's movies. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. I I watched uh, Baby Driver the other day, and Edgar Wright, like, there's, like, behind oh, the scenes Edgar of Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright movies, to, yeah. be, to be honest. Edgar Wright, like, Baby Driver has, like, the oh, perfect... the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack. The Scott Pilgrim soundtrack is fucking awesome, too. It's great. Beck does the whole thing. Beck actually writes... And the metric. metric. Yeah, and metric. Oh, I mean, Haynes. Anyway, that's the end of the topic. Yeah, that was a good... That was a good banger we like we actually had enough i'm gonna start coming without topics more often because that like forced me to just think of something like mm. literally i thought of haircuts like on the fly yeah because you probably rolled. looked at my bald ass head yeah probably it's not as bald anymore it's growing slowly is it yeah nice but it's real thin keep it's it real keep short thin. then it's razor thin razor thin uh we've been the jupiter boys if you liked what you just heard please like rate review subscribe and or tell a friend shoot a shoot a t-shirt cannon with our faces on it into the sun maybe not into the sun but into maybe, the sun shoot it into orbit so that it falls directly onto some f- poor farmer's house just just right through just his wrecks fucking, their livelihood right through his fucking attic right through his daughter's room right into his living room floor and you just He's forced to see us in all our infinite wisdom. As we wiped out his whole life. Yep. We are your No, overlords. we're not overlords. That was a juke. That was a joke goof. Yeah, it was. Um, if you want to, to listen to more episodes, you can go to thejupiterboys.com. 
Yep. Uh, you can also go to the jupiterboys.com slash shop or just go to the store link on our on our page. And that'll take you to where you can buy some Jupiter Boys merchandise. Some t-shirts, some pillows. Also, I'm going to make that store a little, a little nicer soon. So it's going to have all the stuff, but like nicer. So okay. it won't be the shitty Redbubble platform for I, much longer. I like this, I like this idea. So you're going to be able to get all the stuff, but like better. Okay. Um, anyway, so uh, you can um, thank you to Kristen Graham for the use of our theme music. Christopher Graham likes likes bananas. Thank you, Quinn. Uh, sh- check out our other podcast. It's called Dave Franco's Dream Boys. There wasn't an episode last week because I was a lazy fuck and I'm starting a new job. But like, there will be more soon. There wasn't an episode of Jupiter Boys last week. No, either, sorry so. about that. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> you'll listen when we give you episodes. You will listen. take. We will take what you give. What we give you, like crumbs. <laughs> you lick it off the floor. <laughs> We're really going dark with this one. We're really fucking assholes. Well, this like one. anybody who listens to us has got to be an asshole. Yeah. Um, so welcome. Thanks. Good to have you. Why are you welcoming them? We're we leaving love, the show. We love you. Um, no, but I, but I just <laughs> called them to the exit, <laughs> but I just called them an asshole. So I had to say, like, even though you're an asshole, like, thank you, you know, but why would you say welcome as you're leaving? Like nobody goes to fucking like when they're walking out of Walmart, they're just like, welcome. <laughs> Go to yoga class. Welcome. Well, what about your welcome then? Um, because we just gave you a fucking gift, you creep. <laughs> no. Shoot those nuts. <laughs> Straight down your Walmart greeter's gullet. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the shark?